is the biggest factor in being able to restore our mitochondria. Really, really, really important to get that body moving. Yeah, and again, going back to the body composition piece. So if you are exercising, you are improving your insulin sensitivity. And when we're looking at 50% in the United States anyway, 50% of people have prediabetes or type 2 diabetes. You're, you're talking about a lot of people that have an insulin resistance or dysregulation. So exercise is a huge part of that. And I like that Lisa said, keep it simple. You, if you're sedentary now, if you just don't do anything, I would set a goal for walking 100 minutes a week. Or if you're ready to take it up a notch, you can do some resistance training three days a week for 30 minutes each day. It's just 90 minutes. I would do two of those days on lower body because as we age, muscle loss, of course, is a big thing, but the mobility. So the lower, the legs, the glutes, they're really important for maintaining mobility because fall risk is, is a big concern for us as, as, as folks age. So yeah, I think exercise drives home the message. I mean, it's equally balanced with nutrition and the conversation around energy uh, restoration, right? And making sure that we're, we're feeling uh, our best is ultimately right. what we're 100%. going for. So they want to go into supplements. I know. Yeah, we, well, yeah. 